Hey LHS, I'm Ron Burgundy. And I'm Champ Khan. Seniors, we have some important info, so listen up. Please go to the bank and pay your senior fee of $65 before it is due on February 1st. They can take cash or check. You can pay it online, but it will charge you a convenience fee. And once again, if you would like to have a senior ad purchase, contact Ms. Peterson for more information. Also, don't forget about the upcoming FASPA Frenzy on January 21st from 12 to 5 p.m. in the LHS Library. Professionals from TSAC will be here to help complete the FAFSA before February 1st. Students and parents are welcome to attend and need to have parents' tax returns from 2018. Yearbooks now cost $80 and are still available to pre-order until February 15th. For a personalized touch, you can stamp your name on the front of your yearbook for an extra $15. Name stamped yearbooks must be ordered by January 22nd. Hope everyone is getting ready for our annual snowball dance on January 25th. Don't forget to purchase your tickets. And juniors, if you're planning to register for the Criminal Justice Job Shadow course next year, you need to see Mr. Lakeman and pick up an application. These forms will, be, will need to be turned in by January 30th in order to be considered for the course. Any FFA member interested in competing in Spring CDE must attend an interest meeting on Tuesday, January 22nd at 3 in Miss Major's room. French Club is meeting this Friday at 3 in room B306. And also, huge congratulations to the Lebanon FFA Agricultural Communications Team and the Agricultural Issues Team. Both teams competed in the regional contest and saw great success. Annie Whitefield, Piper Bailey, Maya Gibson, Haley Antiel, and Nina Puckett researched, created a portfolio, and presented to a panel of judges on the agricultural issue of dairy milk versus milk alternatives. They came up with the pros and cons of both sides to present to the judges and decide which choice is the best. They placed fourth. Congrats, guys. Registration is taking place now. Here are a few course promo videos that may interest you. We're in Cosmetology 3 and 4, and it will be very beneficial if you're wanting to become a cosmetologist to take this class. To graduate from cosmetology school, you need 1,500 hours, and you can get hours while taking this class. So not only does it take off hours from your school and your tuition, um, you also learn about the basics of sanitation, you learn about anatomy, and you can learn just anything. It's not just about cutting hair and coloring and doing all those stuff, all the services. We're basically like our advanced class, so we get to do cuts, acrylics, manicures, and pet hair. So if you want any of those services, you can talk to us from. Criminal justice um, is a part of Skills USA, which means we've got the classroom classes, but we also have contests that happen extracurricular outside of school. Um, Skills USA is a trade organization. So for criminal justice, we have students that can compete in crime scene investigation. You can go and actually investigate a mock crime scene just like you would in real life. Um, compete with students from around Middle Tennessee. Um, if you compete and win, you possibly stand the chance of going and competing at the state competition in Chattanooga. And from there, um, they have the option to go to nationals and compete in Louisville, Kentucky against students from all over the country. Uh, we also do law enforcement competitions, so traffic stops, uh, felony stops, interviews and interrogations, fingerprinting, everything that you would find in law enforcement. They do mock 
court competitions, uh, sort of like an appellate court uh, where you can compete and uh, against prosecution and defense teams. They do all sorts of different leadership contests. They compete in um, job interview. They compete in chapter display. You can uh, show your creative side and build um, displays to show off your club. Lots and lots of different options for competitions and um, lots of opportunities to travel around the state, travel around the country, and get to compete in criminal justice. Um, criminal justice is one of the elective focuses you can have at Lebanon High School. Um, you'll start with Criminal Justice 1, which includes things like the Cops, Courts, and Corrections is the um, umbrella of the class, so you'll learn about um, like what police officers would do, how the court system works, um, how the jail system works. We'll also talk about the Constitution and state laws the basis of like where the criminal justice standards are coming from and you also get to participate in a mock trial. Um, criminal Justice 2 um, focuses more on investigations so you'll get to learn more about um, how crime scenes are processed, um, what causes crimes and criminals, criminal behavior, um, analyzing criminals and things like that. Um, you also do a mock crime scene and then in Criminal Justice 3, you'll kind of go more in-depth into the crime scenes, learning more about blood spatter, bullet trajectory, um, other things, including um, like actual investigations of crime scene, trying to figure out who committed a crime, um, matching bones, and other things like that. And congratulations to Alyssa Malowski for being nominated for Player of the Week. She is up against some great athletes, and she needs your help to win. She is currently in third place. Go to the Tennessean.com high school sports section to vote for. And be sure to vote for Alyssa on every electronic device you can find, and be sure to revote every hour. Basketball homecoming is tomorrow against Beach High School, and the student section theme is Titans by 90. Homecoming week is always a blast. Here are the dress-up days. 
Today is camo day and tomorrow is blue and white. Homecoming king and queen will be chosen in between the girl and boys game. The girls start at 6.30 and the boys right after. And as always, if you can't make the game, BDM broadcasts all home games live on our Facebook page. LHS Blue Devil News. There is a meeting and run through for the musical today after school in the choir room. Musical auditions are January 21st through the 23rd. Make sure to check out the info outside of the auditorium and all other performing arts classrooms for detailed rundown of the audition days. The Lebanon Band will be hosting its first ever prom consignment sale on January 17th and 18th and items are already flooding in. You can sell your old prom attire and purchase new items if you would like to as well. You can drop it off at the band room from January 11th through the 15th from 3.30 to 5.30. All items are subject to approval by the Lebanon Band Consignment Sale Manager. Also, the prom fashion show is February 6th at 6.30 to 8. Tickets will be available at the door and are currently available for purchase online. Tuesday, the boys basketball team defeated Gallatin 54-49 to to move to 15-3 on the season and 4-1 and one in 9 AAA. Senior David Green led the Blue Devils with 24 points. Fellow senior Gavin Reasonover hit two big second half threes on his way to 12 points. The boys and girls will be back in action tomorrow at home for homecoming against Beach. That's all the news we have today, LHS. I'm Ron Burgundy. And I'm Champ Kine. And remember, stay classy, Blue Devils.